All right, guys, it is time Lancer. First, I'm going to tell you about their class passives. Then we're going to talk about their uh, class advancements. Then we're going to go over each of the two classes, what they can do. Uh, we'll watch some gameplay and I'll tell you what I think about it. So first off, this is the top end and it scrolls down. And then over here we have the second page. That's going to be the same for everything we look at. Uh, Dragon Knight, uh, Blood is just like, a, the actual name is Dragon Knight, and Blood is just like the mechanic it's trying to do. Uh, both of them are very similar, where they both, uh, number one, uh, tells you how they get their energy. Uh, very important fact, uh, when you swap out of uh, Lancer, you lose all current energy. Very similar to how Berserker, if he's in Rage, and if you swap off of Berserker, you lose all Rage. Very similar to that. Not a big deal, but we'll see how this works. Uh, energy gain from normal attack plus 300%. Uh, we'll see other ways to gain energy down below. Every time receiving damage, get 5% blood, uh, dragon blood energy plus uh, this time's lost HP percentage times 100%. So um, if you lose 2% of your HP, you will get 2%. Uh, 2% energy back, so it would be 7 in total. Uh, this effect can only be triggered once per second. When consuming dragon blood energy, increase damage uh, within 3 seconds by 15% and convert 3% of damage into HP. So 3% uh, heal on top. This is sounding like Gladiator right off the rip. Uh, do immune to control and knock in the air knock back and draw effects the draw would be the pull in like balloon flower or moon slash from the sword now dragon fighter spear technique they're going to focus more on the spear itself uh when a skill hits an enemy gain eight percent uh dragon blood energy uh they also have multi uh hit abilities so if you hit multiple times you should. It's going. I, I need to actually get in there and test some things. But it sounds like you'll be getting eight percent per. Either it's per target hit. So if you hit three guys, you'll get twenty four. Or if you hit the same guy three times, twenty four. Need to figure out how that works. And then uh, their whole thing for Dragon Fighter is their second, third, and fourth skill uh, have secondary versions of them, and they all have ways how you can use those. They also have their own cooldown very similar to judge uh, when dragon blood energy is full replace sky dash with falling star strike that is the second skill uh, whenever a hundred percent of accumulated uh, dragon blood energy is consumed replace swift strike with dragon shadow spear we'll talk about those as we get to them First, starting off uh, on the left side, Lancer, uh, continue. the numbers aren't going to be right. As you see, these are level 1 on some of them, level 10 on some of them. We kind of ignore the level, and on some of them, the cooldowns might be slightly different, but we're getting an overall idea of what we're looking at, right? Uh, pierce continuously, deal damage. As, it, as I said at the end, I'm going to show gameplay of all eight skills we'll take a look at it see what we think uh this is a uh, very interesting that you can hold the button to have it uh do more jabs long press can consume energy to prolong the time of continuous pierce up to 45 percent of dragon uh, blood energy can be consumed increase uh the pierce time to 1.5 percent uh that sounds weird it's uh 50 percent more damage uh, if someone gets hit by everything, um, and I know it sound the the percentage points can sound weird. Remember, uh, you gain energy in percentages, and then you spend them in percentages. So it's not like I have fifteen. What's forty five percent of fifteen? It's you're gaining percentages and losing percentages. The bonus is crit damage. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, base damage of the skill. Uh, and we're on to the next section right here, onto the second skill. 
Uh, this is a really cool uh, AoE around yourself. Uh, after release, the Dragon Blood energy wraps around the character body to form a blood field, dealing damage per second. Blood field, the basic duration is 5 seconds, during which every 20% uh, energy consumed will extend the field by 2 seconds up to 2 times. So if you have at least 40%, uh, it will consume 40% and you'll get an extra 4 seconds giving you 9 seconds which at least right here at level 1 the cooldown is 12 so you'll have a 75% uptime this can be extended with things like Gypsophilia so you can have uh, pretty much 100% uptime on this ability uh, and this is base damage uh, we prefer base damage bonuses versus crit damage bonuses because we haven't seen a lot of crit going on here. Third ability, uh, jumps up, impact uh, the target area from a jump, dealing damage, enemies, inflict taunt for two seconds. This is not what you think taunt is. Uh, also, uh, Daisy inflicts the same taunt, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. I will uh, have the correction in the comments down below. Each enemy hit will give you 20% blood energy with a maximum 60%. So that's your gainer. This is how you're uh, gaining blood energy. This is why it has a 32 second cooldown. Uh, taunt. So remember you're inflicting the enemy with taunt. And taunt says they're immune to control effects. So it sounds like I hit you. You are taunted. You cannot... Uh, be controlled and you uh, it sounds like you can only basic attack and only target me is what it reads like we'll see some gameplay and see what it looks like towards the end but uh, this can be read three or four different ways off the rip and this reduces the cooldown by a lot this is uh, 8 9 would be 5.5 .5 if we take the natural progression we're looking at 6.5 or 7 seconds off. So we're looking at 25 second cooldown. Uh, do, do, do. Flame rush. Outside. Next one. Huh? No, I don't know why it's giving me that issue. We have this one. So last skill right here. There we go. Charge in the air and throws the dragon spear at the target area, dealing damage to the enemy. And this is your nuke. This is going to hurt people from the numbers I've seen. Uh, area dealing damage to the enemy, uh, to the target area, and reducing fifth. Uh, movement speed by 50% and 50% uh, HP restoration so that's all sources for 4 seconds long press long press can consume energy to prolong the charging time up to 30% dragon blood energy can be consumed so you hold charges up and you consume based on that and this uh, increase the charging time by 50% and the skill damage by 50% now, the original one I got this picture, they didn't scroll down, so it's at the bottom, actually. Uh, right here. Uh, down here, uh, when this hits an adventure, it will knock the adventure in the air. 20 second cooldown. So, go back up here. There. And then outside is crit damage. So, they want you to build crit for this skill, is how it's reading to me. Now on the other side, uh, as we read this, the right side is the one I'm leaning towards for my playstyle. Both of them seem good, and uh, this just, uh, the options and the keeping track of cooldowns, things like that, is something I really enjoy, and we're going to talk about that here. Uh, Dragon Shadow Strike knocks the uh, enemy in front in the air, then drops the weapon, dealing damage. Uh, when the skill hits an enemy, 5% of uh, Dragon Blood energy is restored. Now, it sounds like it only hits one person, but it might be like a small AoE. So we'll see how that works if you get like 
5, 10, 15, but it sounds like you just hit one guy, get 5% back. When it hits an uh, adventure, so player, it will knock the player in the air. 8 second cooldown, definitely not bad. Outside is base skill damage. Uh, Sky Rush uh, charges in a straight line, dealing linear AoE damage. When releasing the skill, character's pierce rate plus 15% lasts for 4 seconds. Uh, when the skill hits an enemy, 5% uh, dragon blood energy is restored. So we have more ways to get energy back, but we're getting less amount uh, at a time. Outside. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. We, This is a uh, second, third, and fourth skill have a secondary version. Uh, consumes 100% dragon blood energy. So you can only do this if you have 100%. It's not 100% of what you currently have. It has to consume 100%. Rolls towards the target and attacks, dealing a total of damage and inflicting stun. This is the other one that we have to scroll down for. Uh, stun for two seconds. When releasing the skill, character's pierce rate plus 30%. Last for 4 seconds. This skill, uh, 12 second cooldown. So I don't think, at least how I'm going to play it right now, is I don't think I'm going to worry about hitting 100% for that one. Because the other two are a lot easier to proc. And what I'm going to be going after as we go. So we go here. Uh, increase both of their damage. So that's really 2400 uh, do down here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, deals damage to the enemies in the cone in front. If the target's HP is below 50%, this damage ignores 20% of defense and block. Remember, Soul Blast from Sword, uh, very, seen as very, very strong, uh, ignores the same, uh, gets rid of. 30% uh, of their defense and block. This is only for this attack, whereas Soul Blast gets rid of that for a few seconds, so everyone can stack on it. Uh, when this skill hits an enemy, get 10% blood energy, and then Dragon Shadow Spear, which is the secondary version, can't be released after consuming 100% uh, Dragon Blood energy, so it combos with the second one, you do full 100, and then once you do that, you have access to both. Uh, this one, uh, I'm unsure if it just means 100% over the course of the battle. It's worded in a way. It sounds like it only really works as a 1-2 with the second skill. Uh, Dragon Blood, uh, dealing damage, linear, AoE, enemies in front, and instead of 20%, does 50% um, ignores 50% of their defense and block with a 15 second cooldown, which is massive, plus 2,000 crit damage for both. Last but not least, uh, this is the one I'm actually confused about. We'll have to see how it works. Explodes uh, energy to eliminate various debuffs and control effects on the character. That's worded very similarly to uh strength of nature from uh not marksman um the other bow uh the other ranger subclass it's on the top of my head whatever uh wind strike or something like that uh and it also deals damage so the other one uh for the archer heals yourself as you get yourself out of cc this gets you out of CC and does damage. And we're going to see that uh, during the class advancement, they get HP steal rate. So that's actually turns into a heal, right? Because if you're dealing damage and uh, your HP steal rate procs, it's only going to be 14% of damage dealt because that's AOE HP steal rate healing. But you're still, it, it's a heal as well as dealing damage. When the skill hits an enemy, 15% Dragon Blood, uh, which is great. Uh, after the skill is re uh, released, it will change into Dragon Leap. 
within 10 seconds and can move up to 12 meters in a specific direction. So it's also an escape tool as the secondary version. As you see, it's a long cooldown, 32. So you have, you're stunned and whatnot, whoosh, get rid of it, deal damage, also heal yourself, then click it again to dash away to reset your skills, get ready, 32 seconds, outside, reduces cooldown. If we assume that it scales that way, it'll be five seconds off, so 27 seconds. Uh, looking at Lancer, uh, do, do, do. so this is the full breakdown. Uh, HP attack, defense percent, flat defense, HP steal rate. So if you do sword and Lancer, you'll have 90% HP steal rate, block chance, crit rate, and break. So what I'm looking at doing is Gladiator and the right side here, which will be Dragon Fighter, is what I'm going to do as like a tanky build. But I can definitely see a uh, Dragon Knight damage build with a uh, Priest going on for some big numbers. So this first one is going to be the left side. Second one is going to be the right side. So that's one, two, dash, dash, slam, slam. No, this is the right side, right side skill. So we'll watch it one. I'm going to restart it one more time to keep an eye, keep a, a, uh, an eye on what he's doing. As we see, he's using that first skill, uh, which has a quick animation. I like that. I like that swing right there. Uh, that's very similar to uh, what's it called? Um, uppercut from sword. Boom. That's a very quick fourth skill. Uh, changing it up. I want to see him use it as a dash. All right. Oh. Yeah, he uses a very short dash. Boom, boom, one, two, three. And you see the uh, purple line above the head is uh, the percentage that you have going up. And then we're going to check out the other one right here. That, and then this circle is going to heal you so much with the HP seal rate. And like I said, you have to have the energy when you cast that skill to make it last longer. That that lance throw, uh, while it may, uh, that's the nuke, it may do really, really good damage. Locking yourself up in that huge animation could spell defeat in a lot of situations. So you might have to hold it and wait for someone to get like a knock up or whatnot and be ready for it. But it looks pretty good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of Lancer, what ideas you have with it down below. Until next time, guys.